Yasha Asli. Graduation last year at the University of Leicester and picking up a first class degree in maths is a 15 year old boy. It's the culmination of three years study which began when Yasha Asli was 12. What is it about maths that you love so much? Maths gives you this absolute 100% guarantee that what you're doing is right or wrong. If I spend a day doing something that's not maths related, I just uh, I feel sad. <laughs> Yasha's love affair with maths began when he was three, guided by his father Musa, who's a single parent. What my dad used to do was uh, make a sandwich and he would cut it up and that would teach me fractions, but got to about sixteenths before you couldn't cut it anymore really. Okay, and then it all comes apart at this <laughs> stage. Hello Yasha, how are you? I'm fine, thank Good. you. Good. I brought Yasha back to his old primary school, St Mary's Fields in Leicester. When he started here at the age of four, he had a maths age of 12. He used to do all the multiplications and then divisions, uh, calculations all the time. And then he was, very, and he was working with bigger numbers, more than 100. So you, you could tell, yes, he's a very gifted and talented child. What is 15 times x equals 800? With extra tuition and support at home came astonishing results. At the age of eight, Yasha took his GCSE and A-level maths and got an A in both. Some exceptionally gifted children find it hard to relate to their own age group, but Yasha says he didn't feel that way. I wasn't totally uh, books and academic and then and then had no concept of play. I still ran around like all the other children do. So, yeah, I wasn't odd in that way. Yasha's education, though, would soon take a very different path to that of his classmates. He'd been at secondary school just a few months when he and his father decided it would be better for him to leave and go to university to pursue his maths. As a result, he's not taken GCSE exams in other subjects and spent his teenage years studying alongside adults. Looking back now, you missed out on secondary school. Do you feel now that uh, it was the right move, you did the right thing? We didn't want to at first go to university. It was not our first choice. But then it seemed like the head teacher had told the, my teachers to slow me down. Well, that's how it seemed. And that was quite frustrating. Um, so then we decided that I really had no choice. Yasha's case is not unique. In 1985, another child prodigy, Ruth Lawrence, graduated with a maths degree at Oxford. She was just 13. Lynn Kendall is an expert in the education of gifted children. She understands the frustrations they can face at school, but urges parents to think carefully about the options. People assume that you've got to start putting them up years, and that's not something I'm a fan of. Um, where do you stop? You know, 12 is too early to go to university. There's a lot more about university than, than just the lectures. Yasha's father, Musa, didn't wish to be interviewed, but he told me Yasha had learned other academic subjects at home and has friends his own age. Speaking back in 2012, he described the normality of their life together. I'm very proud, but he's just my son, and we do normal things. We don't, we don't do anything special. Show us what you're up to at the moment. Yasha may well live for his maths, but his maths is now giving him a living. The University of Leicester has employed him to help first-year undergraduates with their studies, making him their youngest member of staff. He's also doing a PhD, and one day hopes to discover a mathematical concept which no one has discovered before. There are lots of questions that no one knows the answer to. So it would be nice if you could solve one of these problems. You get fame, which is fame in the mathematics community. Perhaps the, the Yasha Astley theory, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Well, possibly. <laughs>